so for a technical drawing viva what we should do first though your project should be complete second thing uh, we will start with the question so first topic is geometrical construction so in geometrical construction whatever sums you have done it on your project so you should be knowing how you have done it so examiner can ask you that how you have done this sum show me how you have done pentagon hexagon whatever you have done any geometrical construction which is there in your assignment they can ask you from that question that how you have done it then you should same way it goes with area conversion and tangent also whatever you have done you should know how you have done it then in machine drawing the observe uh, the external can ask you about how you have done external arc internal arc and those parallel lines so you should know that where you have added where you have minus so that external and internal arc you should know so whatever you have used arc how you have done it that is important then in scales formula for rf rf formula is drawing length upon actual length and length of scale is equal to rf into ml then uh, external can ask you how you can identify that you have to do plane scale or diagonal scale so plane scale is only up till one decimal point diagonal scale is up till two decimal point so that way you can do it then uh they can ask you the uh, how to mark dimension on the scale so whatever dimension you have marked like uh, let, let's say in plane scale 1.2 meter so how you have taken 1 and from where you have taken 2 or if it is diagonal scale then it is 1.23 meter so how you marked 1 then 2 then 3 that you need to explain so in all whatever you have done on that scale sheet that you need to explain now after that uh there are only two types of scales what we have in our portion plane scale and diagonal scale there are many scales isometric scale is also there but it is not related to this topic then engineering curves in engineering curves you should know all five methods three ellipse and two parabola method so ellipse by concentric circle method ellipse by oblong method ellipse by arcs of circle method and parabola parabola by oblong method and parabola by tangent method and you should know the method as well like uh, generally they will ask you oh how to find out f1 f2 so you can say that in arcs of circle method you take a to o and cut from c you take half of major axis and you cut from c then you get f1 f2 on horizontal line then uh, they will ask you what is the difference between ellipse and parabola so you can see in ellipse you have two axis major axis and minor axis in parabola you have base and height and you and you can show the different example about ellipse and parabola now in solids they'll ask you which all solids you have studied so we have studied prism pyramid cylinder and cone right then observe then that external will ask you about the auxiliary view what is auxiliary view so you can say auxiliary view is additional view so we have front view top view but if i'm seeing it at an angle then whatever view i get that is auxiliary view so in that we draw x1 y1 which is inclined to xy that is auxiliary plane and the difference between prism and pyramid so in prism all uh, top and bottom will be same if it is a square prism then we have two square and it is joined by four rectangular surface and if we have a square pyramid then we'll have only one square and it is joined by four triangular surface and it will have apex same they will ask you about the difference between cone and cylinder so in that also you can say the major difference is apex then external can ask you what is generator so you can say that we divide cone or cylinder into imaginary parts you know we draw imaginary parts generally eight parts or 12 parts so those are called generators then uh what is the formula for development of a cylinder so that is pi d or 2 pi r and what is the formula for theta in cone that is 
वन एटी इंटू डी बाई एल और थ्री सिक्सटी इंटू आर अपॉन एल आफ्टर दैट डिफरेंस वट डू मीन बाय ऑर्थोग्राफिंग सो ऑर्थोग्राफिक इज कन्वर्टिंग थ्री डी इंटू टू डी एंड वट डू मीन बाय आइसोमेट्रिक इज कन्वर्टिंग टू डी इंटू थ्री डी सो ऑर्थोग्राफिक इज कन्वर्टिंग थ्री डी इंटू टू डी एंड आइसोमेट्रिक इज कन्वर्टिंग टू डी इंटू थ्री डी सो दैट वी नीड टू पे अटेंशन दैट वी नीड टू से नाव दे मे से वट डू मीन बाय वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन आइसोमेट्रिक एंड ऑब्लिक सो आइसोमेट्रिक इज थ्री डी फिगर and in that we have 30 30 degree that receding angle what we draw at 30 30 degree that is called receding angle that is at 30 30 in oblique we have 90 45 now in oblique it is 90 45 but that can be 30 that can be 60 also whatever is given in the exam so that is important then they say what is uh what is a section so a uh, section that means you divide into two parts they say what is a uh, section orthographic so you want to see inner detail so that's why you divide that object into two parts so that's what it is called section the whatever portion you see after it is being cut and we just imagine we don't cut so that is sectional orthography then they say what is the true shape of the section so when you cut a solid and when you draw only the cut portion right keeping it parallel to xy that time whatever we see that is true shape or we see the actual shape of the cut solid is called true shape okay then they say what is development so development is you you can give an example that if you have a colgate box and if you cut it from somewhere and if you if you keep it straight so that is the development of that colgate box so generally it is the cover or you can say if you have a square prism then development for that square prism would be four times rectangular surface and two square so how much a uh, minimum a uh, minimum area is required to cover that prism that is development of the prism then they'll say uh, what is isometric circle so we use four center method to draw circle in isometric and it is not we don't we can't draw directly so it is on inclined surface so we use four center method to draw isometric circle and how you draw dovetail or angle in isometric so we draw it outside and then we draw it inside we draw it outside in orthography and we transfer the distance then they say what is isometric scale so there is one scale which is inclined at 30 degree and 45 degree that is called isometric scale and uh, we generally use when they say draw isometric projection so that time we use scale isometric scale and we draw isometric what is the difference between isometric projection and isometric view so isometric projection is when you draw using isometric scale an isometric view is when you use normal scale okay what is the difference between first angle and third angle so in first angle front view comes above xy line and top view comes below xy line and in third angle front view comes below xy line and top view comes above xy line the difference between half section and full section so when you cut an object and visualize that it is cutting that entire object into half So then what you see is full section but when you just cut one fourth of the portion it is called half section and what portion gets hatched when you do a section the portion which is getting cut and we don't cut rib when we cut a rib parallel we don't hatch that and should we draw dotted line in section view that is allowed but if you want to avoid you can avoid also Thank you